What's up you guys? It's Malemia. Today I'm going to go over 16 upcoming and exciting cozy games you might not know about yet. So let's get started. Hidden Through Time 2 is a hidden object point and click puzzle game. There are three areas to explore. Victorian elegance, noir mystery, and sci-fi wonder. What makes this game even more interesting is that you can create your own worlds with the map editor. You'll select from different eras and populate your new worlds with your own characters. You can then share them with the community collection and select from other player created worlds too. With a charming art style and cute hidden animations, Hidden Through Time 2 seems like an ideal pick for fans of hidden object games. Try the demo on Steam today. Rekka is a game I've been looking forward to for a while. It's a single player witchy building game that has you exploring the coziest looking forest. You'll start off by customizing your character and then set off on a witchcraft filled adventure. Your home is a chicken legged hut so you can move it wherever and whenever you want. You'll solve quests for the people of the area doing things like making potions and uncover the great mysteries of the legendary witch Baba Yaga. Along the way, you'll harness the power of nature and earthly spirits to become a powerful creator and wielder of magic as you meet enchanting creatures in the forest. The game is filled with decorating and crafting your hut, so there's plenty to do in the open world. You can try the demo on Steam now. Ale and Tail Tavern is a fantasy co-op game that brings together an open world tavern simulator with familiar cozy gaming elements like decorating, fishing, hunting, exploration, story questing, cooking, and of course, the occasional fight. The definite highlight of this game is the co-op aspect, supporting up to four players online. There's a demo version available on Steam now called Ale and Tail Tavern First Pints. Mirthwood is a medieval open world RPG where you'll embark on a journey in a fantasy world. Take on the role of a medieval citizen where you can manage your own homestead, build a farm, harvest crops, and raise animals. You can befriend or make enemies with the NPCs. The choice is yours. Feel free to explore the landscape, but be warned there are survival light elements like storming and disease, so you'll have to be prepared. The game includes a real-time combat system with upgradable weapons, armor, and clothing. I feel like this is among the first truly medieval cozy games I've seen, so I'm pretty excited for it. There's a demo on Steam now. Instantly captivating with a beautiful isometric pixel art style, Everholm is an upcoming mystery game. You'll play as Lily, who is magically spirited away to a mysterious island. Her memories have faded, but everyone seems to know her and her quest to find her sister, Melanie. She begins to uncover a mysterious truth behind Everholm with the help of a local witch. While the story is a huge focus for the game, the game itself is open-ended, so feel free to take your time and enjoy forming relationships with the inhabitants along the way. Wish Upon a Llama is a cute and delightful simulation RPG where you'll breed and raise animals like llamas, bunnies, pigs, and frogs while building relationships with the town's 24 inhabitants. On your breeding adventure, you'll discover unique animal colors and breeds to keep things interesting. The game features cozy house decorating and will even allow you to start your own family, guiding your children as they grow, go to school, and make their own friends. With side activities like town cleaning, trivia games, spelling bees, and more, you'll find plenty to keep busy with and wish upon a llama. Snacko is an upcoming early access game where you will search for a new life while building a town from scratch. You'll play as a cute and customizable cat going on plenty of puzzle and light combat filled adventures. There are over 200 items to craft and a grid free decorating system. I know how easy it is to get frustrated by building grid systems, so this in particular intrigues me. Of course, there's also more than 50 cooking recipes for you to discover as you make the most of your resources. There will be 26 different characters to meet, with a whopping 21 of them being romanceable. 
expect to participate in familiar cozy game RPG aspects like farming, fishing, and exploration. There's a demo on Steam now. A cozy game that might be my favorite on this list, Tales of the Shire brings you to the Lord of the Rings Hobbit-filled Shire. You'll play as a customizable hobbit who gets to discover and decorate with grid-free placement and share in this idyllic corner of Middle-earth. There will be new and familiar characters to meet and interact with. Enjoy the relaxing lifestyle of doing whatever you want in the Shire as you watch the seasons change. Whether you want to fish, forage, garden, decorate, or trade with the townsfolks, it's up to you. Of course, a hobbit needs their first, second, or third breakfast, so you'll need to keep your pantry stacked up with your farmed or foraged fruits and vegetables. You can even host dinner parties for your fellow hobbits. Taking place in a beautifully vibrant world, Tales of Sakeyu is a fantasy farming sim set in the mysterious land of Sakeyu. You and your sister Khan just arrived after buying a countryside house with your savings, so it's time to settle down. But the adventure doesn't stop there. You can shapeshift into different creatures to traverse the world. You can be a flying crow and take to the skies, or a nature dryad and use your finds to climb cliffs effortlessly. Or you can even transform into a slime to search for hidden treasures. There are of course 30 unique characters to meet, with the possibilities for friendship and romance too. Wanderstop is a game that initially seems like a straightforward tea cafe simulator, but quickly reveals itself as a narrative-focused cozy game. Of course, you'll need to grow and harvest the ingredients needed for your tea shop, decorate it to your liking, as well as take the time to serve customers and get to know them. You'll play as Alta, a washed up fighter who turns to tea as a last resort, but filled with doubt about abandoning her dreams of being a warrior, the narrative is sure to lead us down an interesting path that's more than it seems. Tiny Bookshop is a hand-drawn life sim management game where you'll manage a tiny bookshop set by the coast. You can stock your shop with different books and items, choose from different scenic locations, all while getting to know the locals in your area. Throughout your journey, you'll discover little secrets and collect items and stamps as you explore the nooks and crannies of the world of Buxtonbury. There's a demo on Steam now. If you like dress up games, look no further. Infinity Nikki features Nikki and Momo, who embark on an adventure across the fantastical nations of Mirrorland, where you'll explore plenty of unique biomes and cultures. The world is filled with platforming puzzles and of course some enemy fights. Players can expect to meet many unique characters while collecting various fashionable outfits, some of which come with magical abilities. You'll use these magical abilities to solve puzzles or traverse the environment. Whether you need to don your fishing gear or an outfit that grants the ability to float and glide, there's plenty of fashion with a purpose or simply for the stake of style. Exploration and fashion seem to be the focus of Infinity Nikki and I can't wait to give it a go. If you're a fan of A Little to the Left or Unpacking, Memento should be the next game on your wish list. This game features cozy point and click gameplay where you'll uncover a narrative by reorganizing various rooms in a beautiful hand painted art style. What's more is that there are no wrong answers. You can decorate however you want and discover new things with each playthrough, giving this game a great potential for replayability. You'll uncover stories of love, heartbreak, wonder and loss, so take your time to learn all the things hidden within Memento. Lost and Found Co. is a hidden object adventure game set in a colorful and immersive world. You'll join a cast of quirky characters as you discover various magical locations, helping a tiny dragon regain her power along the way. This point and click game features plenty of hidden objects where you'll find lost items, solve puzzles, discover easter eggs, and more. There's a demo on Steam now. The Gecko Gods is an upcoming adventure puzzle platformer where you'll take on the role of a little gecko. Climb cliffs and caves as you explore the mysterious island filled with ancient puzzles, hidden temples, and a story of a lost civilization. 
I'm personally a huge fan of puzzle platformers, so I'm excited to see what this game has to offer. Last but not least, we've got Croakwood. Croakwood is a creative and relaxed town building simulation game all about cute little frogs. You'll help the locals build and grow their town in this relaxed management game. Design and create new structures, plan and decorate the town, explore the ancient and wild forest. The choice is yours. You can manage the frog market to guide these tiny critters as they learn to thrive in your new town. There will be goals to meet so that you can gain access to new areas and recipes, so it seems like there will be plenty to discover in Croakwood.